Hey Scorpio, welcome to your forecast. For those of you that are new, I'm an intuitive. I'm channeling through the cards, so sometimes what you see may not be traditional. Just take what resonates for you. Uh, roles can be reversed, right? Could be a third party situation. All right. Uh, for those of you returning, thank you. It's because of you, your likes, your views, your comments, your subscriptions that are actually being able to find this new uh, and it's very slow um, I don't know I think that I uh, pissed off YouTube somewhere at the beginning of my channel for being so weird and woo and I'm on some sort of blacklist or something so do make sure you share <laughs> okay it's the only way people are generally finding the channel all right so for the collective here all right um you're not really talking about what you're going through here okay i feel like maybe you have met right a mirror soul uh person place or thing okay it's a brand new journey could be because you are letting go of something else in the process okay again the person from your past or the situation from your past could be trying to fight for you but they're not really putting in any effort and the challenge here is that right you are having to compare do i go with the old trustworthy right energy that i've grown with or do i go with this new lucky energy that's calling to me okay so let's see what is going on here for Scorpio. Okay. So we're going to be looking at three months here. Okay. My intention here is for July, August, September. But time is fluid. So whenever you come to this, um, whatever resonates with you, resonates with you. Okay. That's really interesting. Okay. Spirit wants me to keep it like that. Okay. That is the only one they've done that way, guys. So we'll see what that means. Um, July. Thank you. August. Thank you. And September. Thank you. Okay, we have an underlying energy here of, okay, you are shifting, you are growing. Uh, it's a little baby steps at the time, but they're asking you to be kind, right, to especially yourself. Okay, very uh, Reiki sort of an energy there. Um, right, when I do the Reiki prayer, I always say, right, like, I'm going to be kind to every living thing, including myself, okay? So overall here, again, there's a lot of sorrow within this growth forward, right? But um, again, you're not, you're not speaking about what's on your heart. And they're showing me, right? Like there's this mountain, right? Like in your thoughts, in your third eye, you uh, know that whatever you're going through, it's an uphill climb, but um, it's almost like you're like it's okay I'm ready for it right I'm just not going to talk about it now this is interesting because they all came out in reverse okay we've got a uh, new moon in cancer first quarter moon in Virgo and new moon in Leo right you're relaxed no you're not you're not feeling relaxed. Even if you're doing relaxing things, you're not feeling relaxed, okay? Access the situation, right? You're not sitting back looking at it. You're impatient about it. And shine. No, right? You're keeping everything completely in the dark. Even if your mind, like, look, the mind in the reverse is all full of sunshine and happiness. And you're like, 
I'm dead inside, right? Uh, so it's really interesting that um, you're really coming across as being, nope, I'm just fine, right? Again, this is you healing, okay? Uh, but you're really in love. And this is digital, okay? They're showing me digital here. So I feel like um, maybe whatever, whoever you're talking to or whatever situation that you're moving towards, it's all only like right now you're only able to access it digitally, okay? In August, first quarter moon in Cancer, okay? Pushing through any insecurities, right? Like you feel that this is a gift, right? You're ready to show a little bit of emotion towards something, but uh, we've got protection, protection, okay? Onyx, okay? Clearing uh, ghost energy, okay? So maybe someone's going to ghost you. Uh, cleanse and purify, again, love, okay? Cleanse your chakras as you are attracting this new love. Um, if you are still dealing with someone from the past, which is why you're being so silent, right? Um, maybe that haunting is the fact that they're right here over your shoulder all the time, okay? September, full moon in Capricorn, okay? Take a reality check, right? You've climbed the mountain. Whatever the thoughts were, you're there. And now you get to look and see like what what's my true emotions now that I'm finally there and we've got right spirituality they're like sleep on it okay let what you have processed process and let what is meant for you come to you okay which is actually quite beautiful so July yeah you're going through something here, okay? A uh, little bit of heartbreak. Ooh, August and September. Yeah, okay. Could be changing your material status there, okay? Perhaps in a really good way. But in July, again, right, you're dealing with this heartbreak and loss, okay? Three of Swords, right? And again, you're not talking about what's on your heart. I feel like um, whatever this connection was, right, this person started clearing out their root chakras and then they... They stopped. And as soon as it was time to move on to my heart chakra, this person went right back to the way they were. Okay. Conflict and despair. And that's kind of what makes you sad, right? Like, maybe you were trying to leave a job with some good feelings or leave a friendship or leave like a lover, right? Like you were trying to do things in a healthy way. And you're like, I just can't do it, right? It just can't be healthy. Like, you're just not healthy. And they're running back to a flame. Okay? So this could have been somebody that was back and forth with you. Right? Again, not healthy. August. Okay? Your heart is open for something new. Right? Again, pushing through the insecurities, your heart is open, first quarter moon in Cancer. Again, there's an awareness that I feel like whatever you're manifesting is manifesting you. Okay? Rumi, what you seek, seeks you. Okay? Very strong alchemy here. They're showing me. But again, um, hunting, I feel like somebody, hey, don't eat your toast. 
I feel like somebody, uh, again, there's this haunting energy, right? In August, uh, you're free. Okay, trapped in fear, in reverse, standing your ground. Okay, you're free. You feel determined. You're like, yeah, let's go, right? <laughs> but Spirit's saying, take a minute, <laughs> recover. <laughs> you're like, I'm all in. And Spirit's like, no, listen, right? It's still nighttime, right? Like, take a minute, take a nap, all right? So let's get in some advice here for Scorpio. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, again, uh, you don't feel free yet, right? Because the past is still plaguing you. But there is success on the horizon, right? Yeah. But you got a lot going on about the future, right? Again, that's that... Um, that's that full moon energy in Capricorn. Capricorn is everything's going to be public, right? There's going to be a lot of little changes. Um, and your mind's just playing it all out again and again and again. But again, Spirit's saying, right? Find the way to play through it, okay? Because you are almost here out of this anger energy over here to this heartfelt energy right find a way to play through it um this has been a big to do a big challenge for your inner child okay to choose you a big big challenge here to choose you participation four of wands again I feel like what's in your heart centrally in your heart here is something sustainable okay you've cleared all the energies you're ready to you're right go in and sustain yeah look you cleared the karmic right now you're going to integrate into divine right yin and yang the completion really beautiful what else here spirit yeah okay i love this to the moon and back i feel like um you're taking a leap of faith all the messages that are coming through to you the angel number six here okay are telling you that this heartbreak is worth it what is coming is worth it. It loves you to the moon and back. Okay? It's the right place for you. Yeah. Completion. Right? Your spirit guides are protecting you. You've completed a cycle. Some of you, uh, right? We've got the work here of moving away from a home. But whatever it is, it's going to bring you happiness. Okay, it is part of the journey. And it's crossed by, the, again, a completion card here. Okay, 1010. Can you hear me? Right? Emotionally, you're ready for something, right? Yeah. The tower energy here was that I feel like you were dealing with something or someone where you opened up, right? And you got left out to dry in a way. Okay? Same old, same old. But it was necessary for you to heal. Okay? Yeah, another completion card. Another 10 here. Okay? Uh, no rain today in reverse with the um, weaving flowers in reverse. I feel like, right, like you're getting away from... It almost feels like if you look at these in the upright, right? Here's somebody that's like, I have to check on how you're doing before I can have my own joy or happiness, right? And if you're not happy, then I'm not happy and I have to kind of hide and I can't be myself. I feel like you're done with that. Okay? You're done basing your path 
on somebody else's energy, which is really beautiful, okay? So let's close it off with an oracle, right? Again, they're telling you to be very mindful, okay, as you go through this. I'm gonna move to Patreon, okay, and do the extended, look at the Enneagram of the energy coming towards you as well as the sensual energies. Okay, yeah, you're heading for a sacred union, but it's still in that ether's energy, but boy, is it strong, okay? Again, not speaking a lot of it yet, but you're moving towards that, all right, okay? So I hope that this helps you. If this is where you leave it, I give you so much love and light, all right? Don't hit, forget to hit the notification bell so you know when the next video you want to watch drops. And then for those of you heading to Patreon, it's pay what you can, and I will see you there, all right? Link is down below. Much love, guys. Bye.